Look at Philly right there winning, winning the lottery with Florida's pick. Feels bad, man. Then San Jose, Arizona, Buffalo, and Nashville all get pushed back. Seattle's right where they should be, and everyone else are right where they should be. Not the most exciting lotteries of all time, but I wonder, do they actually have the new lottery rules in here? I don't know. They might. It might be one of the things that EA was able to get to in their busy schedules here. Welcome back to our Toronto Maple Leafs franchise mode. We are here at the draft after a um, <clears throat> first-round exit to the Boston Bruins. Stop me if you've heard this before. But we're going to do our best here to maybe mix some things up. A member of the Big Five may be departing here. So this could be a big, big episode before we get to the draft. Of course, guys, go ahead. Hit that like button for me so we can defeat the YouTube algorithm, of course. Uh, let's view out. Let's check out some retirements. So we're going to have Shea Weber, let me tell you. Um, Ryan Kessler, little, yeah, no. None of the major, major ones. Yeah, like, they're all, they're all fake. I mean, not, you know what I mean. Like, pretty much guys who don't play anymore. <laughs> Still in the first two years, that seems to be the deal. Except for Craig Anderson. Man, he could have kept playing. Come on now, Craigie. Yeah, you're an 81, dog. You got at least two more years in you. <laughs> so there you are. I don't think, no, no, none of our coaches retire. Uh, Craig Anderson and Taylor Fedden, Faden become, uh, scouts no one becomes a coach we will check out the pre-draft interviews here of course no idea who this guy is um eh, i'm kind of hoping there might be something available there to trade for um pick wise that may alter what we decide to do but i don't know just in case i think we should use an interview and figure out what the hell this guy's is is we know he's going to be an elite. Well, likely. We'll see. We'll get an idea here. We'll check ETA. If his ETA is not NHL ready, yeah, okay. He's an elite. Unless they finally change it to where high top six is in the top five actually are NHL ready, as they fucking should be. But, you know. All right, so he's an OFD. There's a couple of those in the, uh, in the top five here, along with a DFD and no power forwards. I was hoping for that, but... <laughs> Well-rounded, okay. So there he is. We have an idea what he's all about. And there's a playmaker here. It's not exactly what I'm, what I was looking for or hoping for. It's a right-handed DFD, which is fantastic. Um, but it's not the best top five on the planet. And unfortunately, we didn't really find any uh, any medium elite steals in that first round. I don't know if we have any in general. I don't know. We do not. I tried, but nothing. We do have a, a decent chunk of uh, low elites, though. All around the same area. And this is kind of interesting. Ooh, hold on. Did that one guy switch back? No, he must have changed rank. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. A low six at 102. Yet, low elites coming in at 93, 105, 111. Very interesting. There was another one that was at 80. It must have been this guy, and he must have got pushed back in the rankings. Uh, he was ranked at around 80. And I was like, that's interesting. Low elites usually don't come in around that area. I was like, yeah, that could be a very... Very thin draft, but he gets pushed back to round the 100 mark. This still looks like a thin draft with some low leads coming in around here. We'll have to see, though. No great top sixes that we figured out. Wow. Look at that. Low sixes at 39. Yeah, I think this is a very, very thin draft. There's one low elite. We can't even find any, uh, like, guaranteed fours in areas that, well, they should be. Okay, well... Not a whole lot going on here. Really not a whole lot. And honestly, I don't even think uncovering some guys who are, like, unknown right now is going to do us any good. Because I have this draft looks incredibly, incredibly thin. Like, this guy should be a low elite. He's not. Alright, you know what? Let's figure out his uh, his actual player type. That's all I really care about. But we'll just 
We'll just do everything. Man, it's making me scroll again. A few seasons. What was it? Three years? Three year playmaker. Eh. Not bad. Okay, man. Okay. All right. Um. So he's kind of interesting. Emotional playmaker. Probably a low elite. Center playmaker. I like that. Weak care. Oh, it's also weak character. And then he also, ooh. <laughs> Not the greatest. Ugh, I don't even know. Uh, it's pretty crap. <laughs> Everything that we've got to look at. So Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup. At least it wasn't Boston again. Uh, but you know who won the Calder Cup? Providence. <laughs> they probably eliminated our AHL team too. Fuckers. Um, so yeah, Washington with the Cup win. Presidents went to Tampa. And it was Anaheim versus the Capitals. Very interesting. Very realistic. Um, Sidney Crosby with the Art Ross. The Hart went to Ovi. Uh, Riley with the Norris. Kane got the Lady Bing. Wright with the Calder. Conn Smythe to Ovi. What a season. Vezina, Samsonov, as well as William M. Jennings. And then he folded in the playoffs. <laughs> as did our whole team. It's not just on him. Masterton to Edler. Uh, Ottawa's coach with the Jack Adams. Selkie to Barkov. Ted Lindsay to Ovi, as well as Aris Richard. Man took home one, two, what, five? No, just, yeah, four. Four pieces of hardware. Uh, and the cup, which is the most important. Hot damn. Great season for the Caps, man. Fantastic season for the Caps. <sighs> we got eliminating five. So into the draft we go. Yep, can't do it. Nothing's on the block. We're not going to do it. All right, nothing in the top five we're, we're able to get. There's a 12-16 available, but we have no idea what's happening there. So, and I don't really like this this top anyway i mean it extends to the six it was like maybe doable but not no no not now if we maybe could have had like a guaranteed shh, not going for a three year this draft sucks man is there anyone even like decent eta around here there you go but then it just goes straight to three year eta i don't like it i'm just mm. If it's not available, I'm not going to force a trade through on that top. Definitely not. So it looks like Tavares is going to be moved for uh, not picks. <laughs> like, it's just very unlikely we're going to be able to get any of these. And if, if it's not on the block, they're not going to want Tavares. I was thinking Philly might actually be possible simply because they are a conservative buyer, but they don't want to give that pick up and they don't want Tavares. Yeah, there's no way. I'm not even going to bother. So, yeesh. I don't even know what we can get for Tavares. That's going to be rough. Well, let's see what this top five is about. Because we're not getting anything in there. 81 medium elite two-way first overall. 81 sniper. 80 OFD. Another 80 OFD. At least it's... <laughs> oh, St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis. Oh, man. Is the blocks... I'm, I'm kind of hoping for blocks to change here because we, we could get our hands on an elite. They go for Caswell. Fuck, man. There's still another guy. Conservative buyer Islanders. Who is it? Who's left? Is this... I think... I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Yeah. Fucking gem. And it, oh, my God. Righty DFD. He's actually not the greatest. He's going to be outside of NHL ready. They don't want Tavares. They'd be over capped too. Oh my god, they'd be over capped. <laughs> I don't think there's... There's a way, but... Uh, very unlikely. One year left. Still over cap. Holy fuck. Really? What have you guys done to yourselves? Oh, yeah, he's not bad, man. Why, aren't you, why isn't he signed? Oh, he might be, actually. Fuck. Hold on. 
Is Bailey extended? I can't check right here. What am I doing? I need to hurry. Um, pff, He's not. Neither is Beauvillier. I don't think this works. Nope. God damn. We got to rush this year. I don't think it's happening, though. That's the only thing. And eh, Nothing matches the blocks. The value's there, sure, but nothing matches the blocks. Oh, my God. Yay for conservative buyers. Cool. I'm okay with giving up that first because I was not thrilled about that low lead. I think we may have been outside of the uh, realm of possibility with him. So we just thank you to the Blues for being fucking morons and uh, taking a horrible, horrible selection. We get a medium lead, which may actually be better than who Seattle grabbed. It's outside of the top five. I don't feel bad about doing a non-block trade here. No weaknesses. He's not going to be great overall. I think he should be better by the but um, than the than the uh, other guy though. I could be wrong, but let's let's snag him. He is holy shit. I thought he was going to be like seventy seven. No, seventy nine. At seven overall. Depth. So he's not quite ready. Bouncer back at you. Yoink shut down. But a nice DFD. And a right side DFD at that. That's pretty uh, premium. Why the hell? Oh, yeah, the face-offs always bring the defense down. I always, I always I always, forget that in my head. Even though I know that's a thing, I'm like, well, is the defense a bit lower? Yeah, it's a face-offs, of course. Um, but, like, where else do you move face-offs? That's a thing. I like it. He's got 85 discipline. We know it's not going to matter as a DFD. He's going to take a shit ton, ton of penalties anyway. Anyway, but uh, I'm more than happy with that. So, Tavares, <laughs> I just realized we sent him back to the Islanders. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that took me a minute. It took me a minute. Oh my god. Fuck, that's hilarious. There you go. Go back. Go back home. Go back home and have fun. Alright, so we picked up Bailey who we're gonna let go. Bolier we could actually maybe use. I'll see what, what kind of thing he's after. I do want to keep some money for a free agency here. When the hell is our next pick? Wow, what? Oh, shoot. To the 113. No, 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 no. That's that's not okay. I want to get these some of these guys. I'm going to miss all of them. So, this guy's... We don't care about him. These three I definitely care about. We can move up for at least two of them. Probably want a playmaker over anyone else. Five-year ETA. They're all going to be five-year ETA, to be fair. Overload's better than... So, if, if anything, I want the 93 and the 111. Most likely not having that X Factor. Though, again, they can develop them. They're close on both of them. But, I don't think so. I think we should go for it. So, our pick's coming in... I just want to know where it is. Like, wait, wait. Okay, so this is the 113. I think I can make one of these go through. 104. Wait, is the 110? Ah, oh, shit, I forget which one I'm going for. I think it was the 111, right? Uh, just let me remember the two freaking numbers I'm supposed to look at here. Yes, 111. Yeah, 111 and 93. Okay. All right, Minnesota, take your pick. You know, We know where you're going to kick us out. Okay, so we can go, one of them's going to have to be a three. One oh six should be fine, it's enough. Um, let's throw in the 122, and then this is where those other guys are going to come in handy. This is where those guys are going to come in handy, I think. They can't trade them for picks straight up, but we can trade them for junk. Uh, let's try the bottom six first. That'll work. Sweet proposal. Yep. Yeah, do your thing. And the other one is going to be a bit harder. Because it has to be... I'm just going to get my bearings here. I don't want to math in my head. It's too fucking early. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Right here? 989? Oh, my God. I did it. 
So yes, they're on the 113 now. And then the other guy, the low nine, and hope, yeah, this, this might not work, but we're going to give it a shot. Got it. Okay, sweet. So those guys did come in handy at the end of the day. We're positioned to get the guys that we have our eyes on. Thank you, St. Louis, for being absolute morons. And uh, honestly, thank you for, uh, for Seattle for probably drafting for need. Uh, this is a pretty good guy. <laughs> And again, this is also, it's money in the bank, essentially. This guy should have better value than Tavares. Well, yeah, he should. Like, off the bat, he should actually have much better value. Which means, it's also like, yeah, we may not we may not use this guy, but that's a crap ton of value you can trade for. He's, he's likely going to increase that value, too, as he grows. Everyone else is in their prime besides, of course, Riley. But he's on a fantastic deal. Got this Haltonen guy as well. He's also a trade value type guy. Possibly. We got options. We got some options here. But yeah, our top six technically takes a hit. But at the same time, picking up Beauvillier, if we can, if we sign him and actually use his ass, maybe. Yeah, it's another two-way. I have a lot of those guys. Anyway, let's... Um, I guess we're just going to get up to our next pick. I, I don't have a lot of faith in this draft. I'll do a quick look through the other rounds, but don't expect to see anything. Um, oh, nice. Well, <laughs> there was that guy. Again, if he was a power forward, I'd shit my pants on to love him. There's a 2 AD. Actually, a couple medium elite steals there. We didn't have any eyes on him, but they were there. There's the low elite, Novikov. All right. Well, there's a couple there. Uh, the second round is garbage. Fine. Oh, like one. Wow. No, this second round is absolute garbage. Top nines and low. There's one medium six in there. Everything else is low or medium nine or six D. That's crazy. Starter. Yeah, it's. Oh, my God. Bottom six is in the second. Garbage. Hot garbage. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I was like, you better not crash game. Not after what I just did. I haven't had a crash yet. <laughs> AHL high top six in the third. Sick draft. Okay, well, we get our guy at least. Sha, sha, sha. Sharma. Uh, Curtis Sharma. Playmaker. Low elite. Five-year ETA. 55 overall. Does he actually have? No, he doesn't have X-Factors. I didn't expect him to. But, uh, hey, low elite. We'll see how he grows. We'll see how he does. Up to the next pick here at the 106. I'll see what was in between all those. For fun. Just for fun. A starting goaltender. I don't think we've seen an elite goaltender yet. Backup goaltender. AHL. This is garbage. <laughs> this is such a shit draft, man. Uh, yeah, we're skipping. Oh, no, no, not Barney, not Barney, not Barney. Paka, Paka Salati. Yeah, I think he, yeah, 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 because the other guy is crash the net type dude, which I'd rather. I'd rather get this guy. Tuomas. 50 overall sniper. No X-Factors on him either, of course. Evenly built, at least. I like it. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what that other guy is. So let's slow sim here. There he is. Barney, 49. Um, okay, he's not like poorly built or anything that I can see. So there you go. There's that. Up to the 154 now. Blind pick central. And do not get your hopes up. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm going to manage my expectations here. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm finding diddly. Nice. I like him. I think I had. Did I? Oh my, oh my, oh, what the, f fucking four low elites in a row, and one of them is 70 overall, what a pick, he, okay, he is 19, he, if he turns 20 immediately, it's not that amazing, but, that's pretty sick, plus his name is Bear, ah, uh, ah, uh, what a beast, I want him, wow, pretty sick, man, other than that, all right, maybe don't manage expectations here. Although, after that, it's... <laughs> All right, man manage your expectations once again, kids. Um... 
LOL, yeah, doubt. Yeah, no, nothing. Not gonna find Diddly here. Unless I just blind pick. Completely blind pick. 19. If he's, man, if he hops up to top four, it's not horrible. But I have zero, zero confidence in him doing that. This sucks. <laughs> this is such a rough draft, man. Oof. Hmm. I don't think I have anything really figured. No. Yeah, there's... Honestly, I'm the, my best bet is just taking that completely blind guy. Because everything else around here looks like crap. Uh, so just eat hockey gods, grant me something cool. Low six isn't horrible, considering everything else going right here. Considering that, that's as close to a steal <laughs> as you're going to get right here. Uh, Tero Suomenen and uh, two-way guy. Not too bad. We'll see, how, we'll see if he develops. I don't know. Could be a depth guy. Could be a bottom sixer. Could be an AHLer. Up to the 186 now. Let's look back. I Just for fun. Just for fun. I'm not expecting to see much. But I like to do it anyway. Bottom sixes and sevens. There's another low six. Grinder. Nice. Even low bottom six is there, man. Cam Squires. Okay. Again, not no hope in him to do much or anyone really. One eighty six. Do I have another? Uh, let me see what, what how many picks I have left here. I have two in the seven. Okay. I can get those guys at, well, that one guy in the very, very, very off chance that he's actually low elite. He's at like 300 or something. I'm going to grab this guy. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. Our scout likes him. Plus, that's drawing my eye. And if, even though he's a defenseman, who cares? Nah. <laughs> DFD 7D. Do I even bother to look back, man? Low four, like low fours and sixes are the steals right now. Pretty pathetic. Yeah, it's garbage. Okay, well. Again, my biggest hope is this guy. I'm going to grab a couple of them. Just, just, just a prayer. Uh, Braden Altshuler. <laughs> low nine. And the other guy who's way, way, way out of it. But you never know. Nope. Low nine also. Garb. Everyone else is AHL. There's... Did I already see that guy? I think so. I don't, I don't even remember where I am. Doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Just, just... I don't know. Maybe. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. That was a pretty poor draft, but we did get some good stuff out of it. Um, that one sequence of four low elites in a row, that was the highlight. Uh, pretty impressive. I didn't expect that out of that draft, to be honest. But they were there, and that 70 overall, too. Whew, not bad. Again, even if he turns 20 immediately, he's still on pace. It's less good, but he's still right there. Uh, yeah, some blind picks that obviously didn't pan out, but... We did get some good stuff. We are able to maneuver our way around those middle rounds and get a couple guys that we really wanted. You could probably have gotten all three of them, but yeah, one of them I wasn't as interested in. And it would have been tougher. Although I would have been more than happy to trade one of those sevens to make it happen. So eh, maybe I should have. Either way, doesn't really matter. Let's go into that. Holy hell. Okay, we're going to keep all of them anyway because there's no downside to firing scouts. And also a lot of those were A's. So yeah. So, uh, did I say keeping scouts? There's no downside to firing scouts, is what I meant to say. But yeah, keeping them to fire them. 
and if you can replace them, because this is the year. This is the year where we are going to start replacing scouts. This is where A's will start to hit the uh, hit the market. As you saw right there, a lot of those early contracts came up. A lot of people, when you start, are on two-year deals, and that's why. Uh, none of them are on one-year scout deals, essentially. We still got everyone. Just, just do that. No, 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 wait, do that. <laughs> there we go. I had everyone here with good teaching, essentially. I don't know if I, I didn't, I didn't show that, but that's basically what I did with the H. That's always what I do with HL, it's just good teaching. Okay. Do I want Beauvier? It's not a bad price, but 20 million. Oh shit, I didn't. What the fuck? How's Kerf? Oh, you little bitch. He got stack growth. What an asshole. Why didn't you get it this year? Wait. Oh. <clears throat> don't, don't, don't mind me. I was just flashing back to last game. How much does he want? Oh, that's not too bad. I'm not going to give him too many years because we know he's trash. All right. And he's not trash, but we know he's not this. Hmm. That'll eat up some money pretty quickly. Okay, Perron's gone. Geo. <laughs> it's hilarious that he's still serviceable. But it's the price tag for me. Ocposo's gone. Uh, Bailey's gone. Okay, we're going to sign... Oh, he's... He's Euro. Anyway, we're going to sign him anyway. You can play him AHL, if anything. Okay, let me go to expiring now. We kind of want to... Well, we're going to go pretty heavy in free agency. Honestly, we can cook, we can get Kerfoot and Beauvillier. Someone suggests that I sign Geo and bury him in the AHL. Uh, it'll still cost money. I don't, And I don't think that price tag is worth it. Like, have him as a mentor role, you know, and then he'll likely retire. <sighs> I wish he retired. I really do. But, I... <sighs> I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. We're going to have to let him go. No one seemed to care right there. You see that? No negative freaking chemistries popped up. Obey Kubel... Yeah, I'm keeping him. Just give him exactly what he wants. Steve's. You're not amazing, but I, honestly, I need to hold on to these guys. We are kind of short on some players, actually. So I'm just legit going to hold on to all the AHL guys as long as they want, like, an AHL deal. Which they all should. So let's hold on to them. Wayne Simmons is kind of done, but we could AHL him if we really wanted to. It's not that great, honestly, though. Let's let's refresh. Let's refresh some stuff here. We're going to have to go a bit more heavy in free agency. That's okay. We're going to have the cash to do so. A lot of cash to do so. All right. Just, as I said, keeping all these guys just to fill out the roster. Some of them two years. Who the heck cares? Kyle Clifford. <laughs> all right. No, 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 just one year. I just want to keep him. Fight some people in the AHL, baby. Keep the dream alive. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Shogren is the only goaltender on an expiring deal. It's the only other goaltender we really have. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm holding off on Kerfa. I'm deciding still on Kerfa Bovier. Let's do the scouts first. And we'll see what we want to do here. Good God. It's a lot of scouts. All right, everyone accepted? Yep, looks like it. Yep, everyone accepts. It's 20 million. So we would essentially sign both these guys. We'd have 10 mil. Hmm. Forward. You got a big three now. Then you still have Bunting. Then Robertson, who you're hoping jumps. 
but with that kind of contract we got him for, he may not. Like, sometimes that's indicative of how someone's going to develop. So it might just be a third-line type guy. Here's the thing. That's going to be so many middling 85s. We're going to need a defenseman. Hmm. Eh. Well, we are going to need a defenseman. Well, Mete's morale down. I could play MHL. We can get someone else as an actual depth piece. Lilligren, we I'm, I'm I'm glad I at least got him to this sort of deal as he jumps up to that and it's probably listed as no, he's still listed as top six. But we still got Muzzin, Brody. Honestly, some of them might decline. You could maybe even ship them out beginning of year. Maybe try to get some other stuff. It might be tough though. But this is this is a big, 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 big year. We're gonna load the fook up. We're going to have to see what's available. All right. I, honestly, I should only sign one of them. Kerfoot's more flexible. Beauvilliers got the better stats. Flexibility might be good. Just in the way of when we're thinking about centers. The problem is, uh, Kerfoot's also built on stack growth. Hmm. Buy Kerfoot. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Bovier here. I know he's uh, slightly more expensive, but yeah, I'm gonna get one year at this sort of price. And we're still going to have I'll get around 15 million. That'll get us at least two, probably three solid players, but at least two. One elite type player who we're hoping will exist. If not, we'll maybe have to make a trade for that. But we're still going to utilize free agency quite heavily here because we can. Let's advance that day. Uh, Bobillier did sign. So one year, 5-1. We're going to have almost 16 mil. Four goaltenders, everything else. We're good. Up the free agency. Yeah, we have we need to spend some uh, money. At, well, not just spend money, get contracts. Uh, Marner, <laughs> can we get lucky with you? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, do it immediately. Just do it. Don't don't even don't even wait for someone like Marner on that kind of deal. Absolutely not. Um, that's eight seven. <laughs> Thank you. They took out the ticking sound as you move this way. It's a little, I don't know. I don't know if I like that they took that out. I was used to it. Uh, beautiful. Matthews and Marner are on incredibly team-friendly deals. They've grown out of their young kid, give me money ways. Angval, do you want like an, no. <laughs> I was like, do you want like an, nope. <laughs> Can't even finish my sentence. Well, he was okay as a backup, honestly. But he's not extension worthy here. So, we got Marner. Cool. Beautiful. That's a sick... Con Dude, Marner and Matthews are on the most team-friendly deals now. They're on the most unfriendly team deals. Team unfriendly deals. All right, moment of truth. What do we got? What do we... Fuck you. You know, Kopitar, Devon Ta Okay, never mind. That's Devon... I saw Taves. I'm like, gross. I'm like, yeah, there's no way he's 89 overall. Jesus. Uh, Devon Taves, Tarasenko, Bergeron, who I'm honestly kind of interested in, but not like that. Wilson, who wants 8 million. God, if he wanted anything but 8 million. Kopitar is pretty sick, though. Here's the thing. That's so, like, ugh. I was kind of hoping for more, like, offensive type forwards. But, man, maybe we just go and just be extremely hard to play against since, and maybe, I don't know. I, like, I'm, I'm, ugh. Man, here's the thing. Kopitar wants a good deal. He's still got the elite. If, even if the switch knocks him down to top six, he'll still be worth it for a year. 100% as a 2C.
Wheeler's cheap as fuck, but he could, yeah, obviously do the switch. We have 15 mil. So, Kopitar, Devon Taves, no. Pesci might be the answer. Look at that, dude. Like, he wants some term, but that 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 cash price is good. I'll lower the term. I'm not going to give him six. Give him something like three, probably. But that'll be really good. We also need right-handed defensemen. God damn, is he good. And he can honestly be in the top two with... Uh, Uh, Riley. So Pesci, Sanheim, both solid, but I think Pesci's the answer. That's a huge jump money-wise to Dick Bag McGee and Devon Taves. Yeah, we don't need Devon Taves. Pesci. I think Pesci. So set, let's say, seven, seven and a half to be safe for Pesci. And then nine. It might it'll still be tough. Ooh, hold on. We can do it. it. It'll work. It'll work. We can be a bit over cap. That'll work. Seven and a half and nine, essentially. And that would give us a lot of two ways, man. I'm not going to lie. But I think I might load the top. I think we may go Matthews, Martin, or Nylander. And then go a full two-way forward second line. Bunting, Beauvillier, and Kopitar. No one should fucking score on us and our first line should carry. That's my like big idea is like get the first line to absolutely light shit up. And then when the playoffs rolls around, those gritty guys on that second line, we're kind of taking a, a leaf out of the Boston book, right? Like how they beat us fucking twice is a lot of that kind of stuff. Bunting, Bolvier, that, and then Robertson. Yeah, we are missing a bit of depth. Muzzin Brody. We can start with him. Bro, uh, the thing is, one of, yeah. Well, I'd keep one of them for the top six. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Muzzin or Brody could be in the top six with Lilligren. Sandine is obviously going to be in the top four. On the left-hand side, you can keep Brody there with him. And then it's going to be Riley and... Uh, Pesci. Riley Pesci, Sandine, someone. And then hopefully, yeah. Uh, I might be, again, I think I keep Muzzin, play him in top six, and then trade Brody. He's got more value. I think it's time. If, if we're going to be serious about this, yeah, Brody can play that right-hand side, but I'm looking at pure overalls, playing him with Sandine. Maybe we could find someone better. Let's explore that. Let's explore that. Uh, well, I'll check for agency, even though I don't think there's really anything else defensively that I would love to replace them with. The only thing would like Sandheim. But again, price tag wise, we're not going to be able to do it because it's we're only going to get rid of. Yeah, unfortunately, it's free agency is not the answer. Free agency is definitely not the answer here. So let's uh let's see. Let's get our bearings here. Let's say top four. Player type any handedness. I would love right. Let's see. We're looking at prices here a lot too. Damn it. <laughs> it was Pesci. Two years, four, four, five. For Rasmus Anderson. Fits into our top four. Get an extra year off that. You'd have to throw in some extra stuff, but that's doable. They don't want to give them up is the issue. They probably don't want... They don't want Brody. Damn. Wait, didn't Brody come from Calgary? <laughs> what are we doing just sending everyone back? That's a tough trade. We'd have to throw first in there. 100% have to throw that first in there. And even then, that might not be doable. 
That's tough. If he was on the block, it'd be much easier. Um, yeah, it's unfortunately you have to find a great contract, and those are hard to make people give up. There's Larson. One year left, four mil. It's you're kind of getting the same guy. Severson. Dobson. The young guy, though. Larson's that pure kind of shutdown type guy. Two overall better, same price tag. Larson might be the ticket. It's only one year, but you should cost you a lot less to get him. And maybe they want... Nope, no one wants Brody. Hard to blame him. You still have to throw in some extra stuff. At that point, though... I would throw Lutinen in there. 100% throw him in there that should work that would work probably so that's an idea for that so we can we can really revamp this team here in this offseason this could be a major offseason for us starts with free agency and ends with that trade i think i think we go for kopitar pesci and then make that trade for larson and that solidifies your top four you're gonna have muzzin and Lilgan, even if muzzin falls off which he's likely to do he's on an okay deal and he'll be playing with Lilligren. I think they'll be fine together. And then you're lacking a bit of depth in your bottom six, but we might be able to add with add to that. We honestly might might be able to kind of uh, we may have some cash. I'll ch we'll, we'll have to see after that. But there there's going to be plenty of depth guys who are still going to be there. Um, and even through trade, we may have to do that. But, yeah, it might be tough, honestly, some of those guys. Backlund's kind of cheap. He's tendered. We're not going to do any offer sheets because offer sheets are broken. Um, if you're not aware, uh, if you do offer sheets, uh, you don't have to give up picks. <laughs> You can actually offer sheet people that you don't have the pick compensation for. We'll see if EA actually fucking fixes that. Um, yeah, I'm looking for like the cheapest guys who we could like use to fill out some depth here. Unfortunately, it's not too much better than what we have. So we're going to be a bit thin, but we do have to sign some guys too. I should actually check that before we uh, close things out here. Yeah, we can grab some, like, Tracy. Uh, Buck. A few of these guys who are on entries. Who may, you know, may turn into some NHL-type guys on the off chance they do. Norlander. Fucking this guy. Yeah, there's a few guys we're going to grab here to fill out that AHL, too. Especially if we have to call some up at some point in the year. All right, we kind of have a game plan here. Let me know what you guys think about that. Of course, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.